This is a two kilowatt portable power station. You know, like those little power bricks that you use for your phone? This is essentially a massive version of one of those. I've been using it for about five or six weeks now, and I've been using it a lot. And I wanted to share my thoughts on like what this is good for, a couple of downsides that I've found since I've been using it. Essentially, it is a two kilowatt, 2000 watt hour battery with loads of outputs and a few different inputs. And I've taken it uh, to Europe, to the Alps to charge e-bikes. I use it in the home quite a lot because it's got so many ports on it across the front. And this has been a revelation for me in my van, traveling around with like my camera gear, drones, e-bikes. So it can output up to 2000 watts of power continuously just off this single unit. And to test it out, pretty much my entire studio right now, everything that you can see is being run off of this power station. I've got a single cable out going in into a multi cable down here. We're talking studio lights, one, two, three lights light up there. The only thing that's not being powered right now are these battery lights here, these battery powered strip lights that you can see on either side. Even my camera has no battery in. Make yourself a coffee whilst you're waiting for your e-bike battery to charge. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, not only that, I'm also charging two drone batteries off of it and my phone can charge off the top wirelessly. So, cheers. My uh, camera batteries are also charging on this. So there's a lot going on here. There's a, there's a lot charging. I can hear a fan has ramped up inside this unit. Hear that on the microphone, the fan is just there. Um, but with all this stuff, I can see the battery's on 88%. It's only using 345 watts. I'm just gonna put all this stuff away because I just wanted to demonstrate how versatile this unit is. And then I'm gonna go through it in a little bit more detail and show you some clips of how I've been using it. So I've been searching for something like this for quite some time. It's portable. It's quite heavy, but you can pick it up. There's some big handles on the side and you can move it around so you can move it into a car or a van, or you can take it out and put it into your home or an office or uh, a tent or a caravan. And I've been using it a lot for charging my e-bike and all my camera kit when I go away. So there's a lot that I really like about it. And there's a few things that I think could be improved. We've got a little touch screen here that shows you some information like the capacity of the battery remaining, uh, how it's charging. It's got a couple of AC, so main three pin uh, plugs on the front. But like I just did, you can plug in a multi adapter. They probably don't advise it because you might be able to overload it, but as long as you're sensible, it worked out fine for me. And it's got a PD charger, which is power delivery. So it powers a MacBook Pro and it will charge it whilst you're using the MacBook Pro as well. And four USB just here and 12 volt output. And this here, which I don't actually use, which is another, uh, I think it's like the Boats maybe that one. And it's got two wireless charging pads on the top. Now this is so good that I've been able to go away and not have to worry about finding places to charge, finding hookups to charge. Primarily I'm using this in my van and when I'm out to charge my e-bike. And because you can charge it in multiple ways, it makes it extremely versatile. So for example, you can charge it just from a regular wall plug, like you would charge and plug in most devices. You can charge it from a 12 volt car charger. It takes quite a bit longer, but if you're doing longer journeys, it will charge completely from a 12 volt plug-in car charger. You can also charge it via solar panels. So I've put some of those on the top of my van just temporarily when the sun's out and I've charged it fully from the solar panels. When you charge it off solar, it does feel really good. It's like free electricity, which is awesome. But the thing that I like about it the most is that I can leave my six amp Bosch charger plugged into it and I can leave it plugged into my van. And when I put my bike into the van after a day's riding, it gets charged from this. And when I'm driving home, this is being charged from my van. So it's basically like totally 
off grid. And I don't even need to take this back into the house to recharge. Yes, if you're doing really short journeys, a 12 volt charger won't charge this up completely and you might need to make several journeys, but it hasn't been a problem for me at all. I've not needed to take this back into my house to plug it in. Um, which I think is absolutely fantastic. There are a couple of downsides that I've discovered in using it. Number one, it's really heavy. So although you get these big handles on the side, it's a big chunk of battery in there. So it is quite heavy. With that comes stability though. So in my van, it stays planted on the ground. It doesn't move around at all. Number two, it's pretty expensive. This is really a hardcore power station for enthusiast use, I would say. It's not a casual um, purchase. It's RRP is £1,999. It is often on sale. And I think right now it's about £1,799. So it is a lot of money. They do smaller versions. So there's a 1,000 watt hour version, which is cheaper, a 500 watt version, which is cheaper again. And I'm sure they'll bring many more out in the future. So it is fairly expensive. But for me, it's been a revelation to use. It's really transformed how I charge my bikes. And again, right now, my pretty much my entire setup here is being powered off of this right now. And it just kind of gives me ideas that I could go out and I wouldn't need to be in a studio setting. I could take all of this stuff out and still have power to do all of this outside, which is pretty awesome. There are a couple of other things that I've noticed that I wish could be improved for a future version. Uh, when you leave the unit on and there's nothing plugged into it at all, it does lose power. It loses about 2% of its power every hour. So I didn't realize this at first and I just left the unit on all of the time. And I got back and I thought, why, why is it dropped like 10%? There's nothing been plugged into it. And then I did a few more tests and experiments and realized that actually it just needs power to be on by itself. So it does lose power, so I need to remember to turn it off. And that kind of leads into my second point. When you charge it off of solar power, if you live in the UK or an environment that doesn't have a huge amount of really sunny days, especially as you get into autumn, winter, if you leave the solar panels plugged in and they're giving it a good charge and then you leave it for a few hours and the cloud comes over and it starts getting a little bit darker, it doesn't give it enough power to actually charge it and then it starts losing back to that 2% ish per hour of battery that it uses just to keep the device itself on. There's a couple of minor points really. Um, it's just some feedback that I think would be cool to see for a newer version. I'd like to be able to just plug it in via solar, forget about it for maybe six to eight hours and come back and it's actually got more charge in it than it had when I started. But there you go, a couple of minor points. But in use, it's been absolutely outstanding, quite revelationary really for me. And it's traveled all over the place with me. It's always in my van. And it really is changing the way that I work because I can charge all of my camera stuff straight away from it. It's got multiple inputs, two AC outputs. It's really handy. And because it's 2000 watts of output, you can, you can plug like air conditioning units in here, TVs, fridges, crazy high powered things that I've not yet actually personally used myself, but I've seen other people that are using it to pretty much its full 2000 watt output power rating. So yeah, it's a great unit. I really recommend it if you are looking for some kind of all-in-one solution power station. I don't really think there's much else on the market that compares exactly to this. There are other solutions that you can get, especially for vans. Uh, you can get leisure batteries that will charge directly from the van or the car, which are really good solutions. They do require a little bit more knowledge, not a huge amount to hook them up, but they don't tend to have these lithium batteries. So this is a lithium um, battery or several lithium batteries that are in here. So the technology is slightly different. You don't really need to worry about maintaining this. It's just one of these kind of plug and play devices that as it runs out, you charge it up. So you don't need to worry about like discharge rates or anything like that. You just use it as you would pretty much your power at home when you plug things in. So other than the few downsides, I thoroughly recommend this. I think it's been a fantastic piece of technology. I do hope that we see the price come down. Keep an eye out for deals. I'll put a link to the product page just down below in the description so you can check it out. 
and let me know what you think. Is this something that you'd use? Is the price way too high? Are there any other solutions that you guys could recommend for people that are out charging e-bikes and want to live completely off grid? So thanks very much for watching. This has been the Bluetti 2000 watt power station. Let me know your thoughts and feedback in the comments and I'll catch up with you really soon.